It All Adds Up, The Story of People and Mathematics by Mikhail Lone is a book that explores the relationship between mathematics and human culture through history. Rather than presenting a dry, technical account of mathematical concepts, Lone weaves a narrative that shows how math has been an integral part of human progress, intellectual growth, and artistic achievement. The book starts with a look at prehistoric times, discussing how early humans may have used basic counting and measuring skills in their everyday lives, such as for trading goods or dividing food. Lane points out that the need for counting and measuring likely led to the creation of early tools and symbols for these purposes, setting the foundation for more advanced mathematical ideas. As civilizations began to develop, mathematics became more structured and integral to society. The ancient Egyptians, for instance, utilized geometry for land measurement, especially after the annual flooding of the Nile. Their need to redraw the boundaries of fields led to practical geometric methods. Meanwhile, Babylonians developed a base 60 number system, which is still reflected in the way we measure time today. Lane highlights how these early mathematical systems were not only practical, but also had religious and philosophical significance. In ancient Greece, mathematics became more abstract and was studied for its own sake. Lone describes the work of Pythagoras, whose famous theorem about right triangles is well known, but who also believed in the mystical properties of numbers. Mathematicians like Euclid then formalized geometry into axiomatic systems, showing that mathematics could derive truths that are universal and not dependent on the physical world. Skipping ahead, Lone discusses the Middle Ages, a period often mistakenly considered a dark age for math. He explains how Islamic scholars preserved and expanded upon the Greek mathematical heritage, making significant advances in algebra. This knowledge eventually spread to Europe, laying the groundwork for the Renaissance, which saw a flowering of both the arts and sciences. Mathematicians such as Fibonacci introduced Arabic numerals to the European continent, revolutionizing the way people did calculations. The Renaissance brought with it an explosion of creativity and learning. Lone explores how artists like Leonardo da Vinci used mathematics to bring perspective and realism to their paintings. Meanwhile, the scientific revolution of the 16th and 17th centuries saw figures like Galileo and Newton use math to describe the laws of nature. Calculus was invented independently by Newton and Leibniz, providing a key tool for understanding change in motion, which are still relevant in modern physics. The 19th century saw the development of non-Euclidean geometries by mathematicians like Gauss, Lobachevsky, and Bolyai, which would later prove crucial for Einstein's theory of relativity. Lane also highlights the contribution of abstract algebra and the beginnings of set theory, which have deep implications for modern mathematical thought. In discussing the 20th century, Lone looks at the ways in which mathematics became even more abstract, with the development of areas like topology and the study of infinite sets. He points out how the advent of computers transformed mathematics, enabling complex calculations that were impossible by hand and leading to new fields such as computational mathematics and information theory. Importantly, Lone doesn't just focus on Western mathematics. He also examines mathematical developments in other cultures, including the sophisticated systems of ancient China, India, and the Mayan civilization. He notes how these cultures contributed significantly to the global understanding of mathematics. Throughout the book, Lone argues that mathematics is not just a tool for science and technology, but also an expression of human creativity, akin to music or art. He emphasizes the aesthetic beauty that many mathematicians find in their work, and how mathematical ideas often emerge from a deep human urge to understand the world around us. Lone makes a point to challenge the perception that mathematics is only accessible to geniuses. He provides examples of how mathematical thinking is something everyone engages in, showing how it is an innate part of our problem-solving toolkit. The book demystifies mathematics, presenting it as a universal human language that has evolved alongside us, reflecting our greatest achievements and our search for meaning. In the conclusion, Lone reflects on the future of mathematics, considering how it will continue to shape our understanding of the universe and our place within it.
He contemplates the ongoing advancement of artificial intelligence and the potential for new mathematical discoveries that could once again revolutionize our worldview. It All Adds Up successfully tells the story of mathematics not as a series of equations or abstract concepts, but as a rich tapestry of human history, intertwined with our cultural and intellectual development. Lonet conveys a sense of wonder at the beauty and power of mathematics, inviting readers to appreciate its role in our past and its potential for our future. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.